So um, when we're working with uh, sets, we draw pictures of them called Venn diagrams. And when we do that, we have to kind of agree on what the, the universal set is on what's the scope of our um, of possibility that we're discussing and we denote this universal set um, as U. Now you might wonder where the name Venn diagrams comes from. Venn diagrams were developed by a logician named John Venn and um, he always represented the universal set with a rectangle and then the sets within the universal set are circles. So a very simple Venn diagram that has exactly one uh, set depicted in it would be this one. You see U for the universal set and you see the circle A for um, some other set within the set U. So for example, Let's suppose that our universe of possibilities includes the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So that's our universal set. Then maybe the set A could be the odd natural numbers less than 6. So which elements of U fit that description? And I'm going to pull up my, if I can, pull up my chat box here. So go ahead and type into the chat box, if you would, um, which elements of U are um, odd natural numbers that are less than six. Does anyone know which of the numbers one, two, three, four, five fit that description? Very good, one, three, and five fit that description, good. So. I'm going to put the elements 1, 3, and 5 in the circle that represents A. And now which elements remain that are not in A? They're in our universal set U, but they're not in A. Which ones are left? Very good. 2 and 4 are uh, not 6, because 6 is actually not in the universal set. If you notice, the universal set only goes up to 5, but 2 and 4 are, right? So I'm going to put 2 and 4 on the outside of A. Now, speaking of the part that's outside of A, this part has a name of its own. It's the complement of A. Everything that's not in A but is in the universal set is called the complement of A. It, we, we denote it with a little um, apostrophe, so A with a little dash up and to the right, and we can sometimes read that as A prime, but I usually just say A complement. So in our example, A complement consisted of the elements 2 and 4, and A itself consisted of 1, 3, and 5, and the universal set U is all of it. Sometimes people think that this U being out in this region um, outside the circle means that U is only considering 2 and 4, but U is always everything. So U has 1, 2, 4, 3, and 5. Now, we talked about set builder notation in class. So with set builder notation, we always have the curvy set brackets. Then we'll say the set of all numbers x or some other variable. Then we draw a line that means such that. And then we have some kind of a description. We describe the set over here. All right, so this is the formal definition of the complement. And a complement is equal to the set of all numbers x such that X is in the universal set. Remember this elongated E means an element of or is in. X is in the universal set, and but X is not in A. Okay, so A complement means it's in our universe of possibilities, but it's not in the set A.